Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So uh, this video I wanted to strictly go over the uh, Triple Crown 5x10 trailer that I bought. This is a 2014 model and I did buy this from uh, Home Depot. I believe it's gone for about $1,200, bucks, 11 dollars 97 I want to say roughly back then. I believe it's still the same price today. But I uh, wanted to go over uh, some things that I like about it, what I don't like about it, and some of the upgrades that I've done. And I covered a little bit of this uh, when I was doing my 2018 setup. So first thing, we'll start at the front here. Uh, that uh, hitch that comes with this trailer is uh, horrendous. I absolutely hated it. And I showed you this here. Um, let's see. Right here. You can kind of see there's a dent right there. Yep. Uh, I hate this uh, hitch that comes on these trailers. It's too close when you drop your tailgate. Uh, obviously, it's going to almost hit. And then with the uh, handle on there, it's going to hit. So obviously, that was the first upgrade I did. I uh, got this from Tractor Supply, the swing away system. Uh, definitely recommend doing that if you're going to uh, have this trailer. Uh, so I believe that was about 40 bucks at Tractor Supply for the swing away. And that's been great. Uh, absolutely holds up very well. It's adjustable uh, to fit the uh, frame there. You get multiple hold holes to uh, put your bolts and stuff through. So that was one of the upgrades that I did to this. Toolbox, uh, again, got that from Northern Tool. That one I just looked at it today. It's about $170, and uh, you can't beat it. It's a really good price, and it's real small. What I like about it is it's, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of the bed space of your trailer. Uh, so I recommend doing that, um, and it just kind of gives it a cleaner look. You know, if you step back here, um, you know, there's no, lug or there's no uh, racks on this for your chainsaws and weed eaters and edgers and stuff. So it just kind of gives it a little bit cleaner look, a little bit low, low profile. And it's also got a lock on there, so you can lock your equipment. Uh, side markers. Uh, when you buy this trailer from Home Depot, it does have halogen bulbs. And I did upgrade that to the LED. So that was one of the upgrades. I've also, actually all the way around the trailer is now LED. Uh, so the rear brake turn uh, marker lights are also LED. And you notice, you'll say, well, why is one got red with a clear, and this one's just all red? Well, as much of you landscape guys know, lawn guys know, you bust these tail, the lenses all the time, and that's what happened. I've ran into a uh, signpost with it, backing into an area. Um, so that's why there's different color and stuff. So, But overall, I prefer the, uh, the clear with the red, but unfortunately, um, without buying the whole kit, you can't buy just a lens. Uh, and I've even looked online for that. So that's the only disappointment of that. Also, as you can see my tag there, I mounted it um, right onto the trailer instead of mounting it uh, on the over here. Now, some state laws require it to be underneath. There's a light there. I haven't had any problems, never been pulled over. Not even sure if it's legal or illegal in the state of Florida. But uh, I did mount the mines right there. I added some uh, strip uh, reflective tape to the back and as well to the sides. Just so that it's, when, you know, obviously this thing's black and I don't want nobody running into the back of it. Again, side marker light is upgraded LED. Real easy, real simple effects by the way guys. Don't, don't let that uh, scare you away of just upgrading your lights. Cut a couple wires, bolt it on. Uh, heat shrink some uh, connections on and real easy. So don't let that fear uh, cause any fear. So obviously mower here as well as, uh, you know, different uh, mounting options. So I went ahead and this is, I think I got it from Home Depot. I, I bought the bolts and everything from Home Depot. These swing out of the way, uh, molted right to the wood, I'll drill two holes out. And I can't see the other side, or can't see the back. But... <clears throat> They fold pretty pretty flat. Um, they're not in um, what do you call it recessed into the wood. I just you know didn't need it. There's no need to. And like I said, it's, it's pretty flat. I mean, uh, if you're doing a lot of um, you know got throwing a bunch of mulch and stuff in here, which I'm not doing that. I'm not putting any debris in here, so I really didn't need that uh, to be recessed and stuff to you know catch on anything. And uh, that's about it. That's pretty much all the uh, upgrades I've done this thing. 
uh, real easy overall this trailer I just went ahead and greased the hubs you can see some of the grease on the ground you can grease these hubs real easy uh, just got done doing that took less than five minutes each side um, but overall this trailer is uh, great uh, here's one more thing um, well, this here, this little red thing, is a godsend. For those of you guys who are constantly hooking up your truck and trailer, and these little flat four-wood pin things, I'll go ahead and unplug this for you. This thing here is awesome. That has saved my fingers so many times. For whatever reason, I always want to catch um, my fingers and stuff on this. But this is the brand. It is a Hopkins. Let that focus in there. That's a Hopkins, and all it is is a uh, four pin to the uh, flats there, and then it connects to your, this obviously is your Ford factory flats, and then I also have the four pin there. But again, for whatever reason, I was constantly fighting with that. It's so hard to get it out, and uh, you know, I figured I was going to wear this thing apart, so I went ahead and picked this up real easy. Uh, definitely recommend this. I've had this for a couple of years now. I think I bought this a couple of months after buying the trailer, and I just got tired of uh uh, messed up my fingers and stuff trying to get this four pin in and out of the factory there so overall uh, and then I put a pin on or a uh, lock there pin lock whatever you want to call it uh, that way I want to mount my own nobody can just come and, and steal the trailer off the ball now what they can do is just pull the pin I do normally have a pin lock for the hitch but uh, yeah you know, when you, you leave your keys uh, 30 miles away when you're trying to hook up your RV swap swap out hitches you kind of have to uh, cut the uh, lock off so by the way uh, don't recommend getting that particular brand I'm hoping there's better ones out there I'll have to do some research but I was able to cut that with a sawzall it took no time at all so but that's about it guys like and subscribe give me a thumbs up and we'll catch you on the next one